transition from ionic compounds to molecular compounds, we're going to take a quick break in recognizing and naming acids and bases. Acids and bases is a very complex topic. There are many layers to the chemistry onion as far as acids and bases. We are going to start off, though, by um, recognizing acids with two main forms. H is in the front or COOH is in the back. It's a bit like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. I have had a mullet before. This one, H is in the front and COOH is in the back, are both types of acids. Uh, and it's the best way, that's sort of <laughs> uh, my catchphrase, or one of them. H is in the front, COOH is in the back. Let's show you what I mean. HCl. If it starts with an H, it's an acid. HNO3, also an acid. Huh? It's got H's in the front. I don't know if I've ever seen that compound before. It's got H's in the front. It's an acid. Um, and here, again, it can have two H's. It can have three H's. Three H's is the most that I've ever seen, though. Phosphoric acid, that's that last one, in many sodas. Um, all these are acids. There is my COOH in the back. That is also an acid. And in particular, this is acetic acid, the acid in vinegar. We can also get another compound with COOH in the back. And in fact, all of the amino acids fall into this category. They all have COOH in the back or as some part. And it's so common that I'm going to start by drawing it today uh, for acetic acid. So we've seen the CH3 group before. And this is the, yeah, oh, this is a structural formula. Nice. Um, uh, my brother does stand up and that would be called a callback except that it's not funny, but uh, and callbacks are, well, anyway. Uh, all right, so C, double bond O, OH. So many of you are biology majors or healthcare, going into healthcare, and so amino acids, anytime I can men mention anything biological, it will uh, pique your interest, uh, pique your ears up. And so this is acetic acid, and all of the amino acids have this kind of COOH structure in them somewhere. Now, um, for this class, there are only 10 acids that you have to know their names and be able to recognize. And seven of them are strong acids. And we're not even gonna tell you what a strong acid is yet, we will later, but we do want you to memorize and make flashcards for these seven acids. And I will tell you their names, so you can make flashcards right away. Uh, they're not, I think, they're, they're not on your nomenclature list other than to say that uh, on the final, strong acids and weak acids will be on there, and that is also true for us. And I made up a homework to do just these 10 acids and the couple bases coming. So this is going to be hydrochloric acid hydrobromic and hydroiodic acid and they don't have to be capitalized hydrobromic and hydroiodic then we get to sulfuric acid, nitric acid, chloric, and perchloric acid. And it's getting a little crowded over here, so I'll put those names over here. Sulfuric acid, nitric acid, 
Uh, I guess we have some space now. Chloric and perchloric acid. Those are your seven strong acids. We're going to talk about them a lot later and all through general chemistry. Now, uh, there are literally thousands of weak acids, amongst them all of the amino acids, by the way. But for this class, I'm just going to have you memorize three formulas and names. So here we have carbonic acid. the same acid in sodas, uh, as well as phosphoric, but as I've already mentioned, acetic acid, which does come in two formulas, though I will always use CH3COOH with the structural formula. This is the, I don't know what that is. That doesn't technically a, um, I guess it's a structural formula because it shows you the structure of the acid with the H. All right, I'll buy that, acetic acid. I know it says it right there, but I'm gonna write it again. And phosphoric acid. Any other time you see an H in the front or a COOH in the back, it's an acid, but you don't have to know it. I, you know, you'll run into them. Ascorbic acid, citric acid, glycine is an amino acid. Lots of them to see. These are the 10 you will be quizzed on later on. Bases, also many bases, many acids in the chemistry layers of the chemistry onion. Only three you have to know for the strong bases. And these are all ionic compounds, so they name just like other ionic compounds. Lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. And again, there will be many more bases, and there actually are a number of other strong bases as well. But for this course, these are the ones you have to know. Um, and if any other strong bases come into play, I'll tell you about them. Weak base, ammonia. Amino acids are really interesting because they have a weak base in them and a weak acid, but we'll save that for another course. These are the 10 names and formulas you have to know and be able to identify them as strong and weak acids, strong and weak bases. It's on the homework. You won't have an exam on these types of names until the final, but you will get practice on the homework between now and then.